Good day, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Excuse me. Hi. Hi, I have a question for you. Yeah. Okay, I went to get my purse back to make my payment. She's telling me this is expired. That's my purse right there. That one right there, the black one. So I want to know why it's out there. This is your purse. That's my purse right there. How do you money. know that's your purse? Because I know my purse. Here's the money. I want the purse. That bag was never in pawn, and it does not belong to that lady. If you don't give me the purse, I'm going to climb over the counter and get it myself. Give me my purse. How are you? Would you mind getting over there and get my purse for me? OK, first of all, that's not your purse. How do you know it's not my purse? Because that purse has been out there. Let me see it. Let me look at it. Today, we'll show you rage moments on Hardcore Pawn. Hi, excuse me. Yeah. Hi, I'm looking for a watch. My belt out. $100, I got $100 to spend. All right, do you want a leather band, a metal band? Let me see this right here. This will be good. OK. This one. This is really pretty. OK. Mm. It's really pretty. It's really Looks pretty. Looks good on you. It was 100 100 I'll take it. OK. Now we add tax on that. It's going to be 106 All right. Here. No. What is this? It's a hundred dollar gift card. Hundred dollar gift card. Hundred dollar gift card. These are not our gift cards. What would you call it? Is these that are for customers. Right. So these are VIP cards. A gold card allows you discounts on the sales floor. You can't swipe this card and apply a hundred dollars on it. Look. That is not our gift card. Turn around and swipe it, okay? There's no swiper on this. So you telling me I'm losing a hundred dollars? The case of the insulated earrings. Things get heated quickly in this episode when a woman walks in with a diamond earring. Convinced it's a valuable heirloom, she expected a whopping $500 for this lonely stud, claiming the employee promised that price. Ashley, the employee, said no way. Tempers flared and things got heated. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? My niece bought me some earrings from here. Oh, and when she nice. bought them, uh, one of the diamonds was missing, and I wanted to know, can I get my money back? Do you have the uh, receipt? No. Do the gifts come with a receipt? Yeah. yeah. Um, no, well, this one didn't. She told you that um, she bought them from us? Yes. So there's two problems here. The first problem, you don't have the receipt. If you had a receipt, it would look like this. Yeah. I know what a receipt would look like if I had one. Second of all, no cash on the receipt, it says no cash refund. One more problem that's really key to this whole thing. Mm -hmm. These are fake. This lady acted like she deserved a king's ransom for a single earring. Les, the boss, had to step in and explain things like a grown-up. He told her that they can only offer what the earring is actually worth, not some made-up price. In the end, the lady couldn't see reason. She stormed out, leaving the lonely earring behind. And we don't sell fake jewelry. Well, it's okay. gonna be Hold some here. Well, well um, excuse me, anybody buying any jerry from here, don't get no more jerry from hey, here because this hey, ain't good. Hey, hey, no, hey, no. hey, Come on. I've played this game before. I know this was a scam. Period. Wait, Where's your two options? I'm talking to you. I don't I'm care. Talking to him. I'm talking Sorry, to you. Sir, can you help me? Can you give me my money? Can you give me a different pair of earrings? Anything. No. Oh, wait. No. Your short ass no. gonna tell me. Are you angry because your coat's so tight? No, my coat ain't tight. You so much little back there. It's time to leave. I think it's time for the baby to get back. Her earrings are fake. We didn't sell them. Get out of here. Get out of the store. Two options. You, you pick whichever option you want. You can leave. No, I'm Second going option. up a where. Second option what? is you can get the receipt. Ain't no motherfucking receipt. Listening? It ain't can no you receipt. Finish listening. No. I think it's time to leave. I'm not going nowhere. I'm a jar. No, I bet I ain't. This is Joe. Joe. Uh, how you He's going to show you to the front door. Wait a mother minute. Now get your hands off. I guess you're leaving. Yeah, it's true. Maybe he, if he sit on the toilet, his legs swing. But leave the man alone. Jimbro Fury. A man walks into Hardcore Pond furious about an ab lounger that he just bought. Now, this isn't your average gym rat. We're talking a bodybuilder type of guy. He explains to Les that the equipment broke only two days after he purchased it and wanted his money back. Hey, man, I need to talk to somebody about this. This piece of junk I bought in here just a couple days ago don't work now. It's broken. What is it? 
little ab lounger I bought here, man. Workout. Now, here it I is. I do see that you work out. There ain't no question yeah. about yeah. that. This thing obviously couldn't handle what I was doing on it. So two days later, it don't even work. So. You have your receipt? I don't have a receipt. I didn't think I needed to keep it. There's nothing I can do for you without a receipt. Les Gold explains their policy. No receipt, no refund. But this customer isn't having it. He gets fired up, arguing that the equipment must be a piece of junk because it crapped out on him. This is where things take a turn for the dramatic. The customer, in a fit of rage, throws a fist at one of the guards, who smartly dodges and throws the customer outside the store. If you had the receipt, I could give you an exchange, I could give you some. I don't want an exchange because it's probably gonna be some again. How about you just get my money and then we won't, you know, we won't have any more problems with this, but I'm I don't not, have I'm any not... problems now. Well, it could be a problem. I need my mother money back. I, I understand that. And I'd like to give your mother yeah, money back. You're gonna give me my money back. I'm not gonna do yes, anything. You are. I'm not gonna and do you, anything. The, and you can back off too, man. Like all this uh, security great. standing I, around or whatever. I don't give a rat's ass my... about that. Well, we don't you know give I mean? a rat's ass either. Like I'll I said, even there's even no that. receipt. There's no money. There better be some money. Or, or what? Or what? There's gonna be a problem. Or How about what that? What kind of Problem oh, man, don't put him on oh, my face. Here, I, mean, I don't need you. Don't put your hands on me like that, man. Go ahead, bro. You give me the receipt, I'll be more than happy to Like I said, I don't have the receipt. And I don't have the money. Look here, man. You better back off, too, man. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Come on, let's Come on, man. Let's go. Really? Let's go. I told you, man. Let's go. Come on, outside. We got you, buddy. Bring a couple more. Come on. Bring a few more. All we need come on, bring two. all y'all out here. Come on. That's it, buddy. Bring, come on. Bring five or six more out here. Come on. Bring a few more. That's it, buddy. Bring a few more. That's it, my man. Bring a few more. Here's your machine, buddy. Don't come in here threatening us. We don't go for that. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Remember that. Pond wedding ring. A woman walks into the store in a bit of a pickle. She explained to Ashley that her husband had pawned her wedding ring, but she didn't have a pawn ticket. And on top of that, she wasn't interested in filing a police report. The woman got frustrated and argued with Ashley because she thought Ashley could just search her husband's name in the system and magically find the pawn ticket information for her. Good morning, American Jury. Hi, can Hi. I talk to a manager? That's me, how can I help you? My wedding ring that's $5,000, you guys have it. I want it back. Okay. Where's the pawn ticket? I was doing my husband's laundry this morning and I pulled his wallet out. There's a pawn slip from you guys. I put it back in his wallet. So your husband stole your wedding ring? Yes, he took it because we're having financial problems. I get why he did it, I just want to come in, pay for it, and get my ring back. Did you make a police report? No, I didn't make a police report. The hell am I going to make a police report for? I'm not going to call the cops on my husband. I'm coming to you to get my ring back. I didn't know what else to tell this lady. Yes, I feel terrible for her, but I can't help her without her ticket. Did you think about asking your husband for the ticket? Oh, my god. I want my ring. Can okay, you so get let in the me... computer okay, so and let look me... up the name, okay, tell me how so... much I owe you, and give me my The woman gradually began to get violent and slammed the glass. Give me my ring. In the end, Ashley calls security and asks the woman to get the hell out. That's all I want. Okay, so let me explain to you how this works. First of all, I don't just look up somebody's name and give you their information. I didn't ask you to give me the information. I asked you to look it up. I also... How hard is that? You look it up in the computer, you take it, I pay for it, we leave. It's not that hard. It, Maybe you're no, not I, making myself clear. So all you gotta do is take your pretty little fingers and type it in. Let me talk. Give me my ring. You bring your butt out here and you assist me out. Please bring it. That's all I want is my ring. That's it. It is a Take hard. your pretty little feet, walk your pretty little legs no, out of here. You are not. Just go back I'm there not. and give me my How hard is it? You can't just go back there and type in a name? Do you shut up for no. a second? You ain't never shut Get up. the hell out of here. No. It's time to go. Up yours. I want to see you walk oh, outside. Come please. on. You're so big and bad, yelling, screaming, can't type anything to a computer. Oh, this I'm gonna come back and get my I promise I'm gonna come back and get my Angry Thief visits store. 
The drama exploded at Hardcore Pond when a woman walks in fuming mad and spots a black purse on the counter. She claims it's hers, like her most prized possession. Ashley doesn't budge though. The woman got fiery, her voice climbing octaves, and threatened to hop over the counter like a superhero landing. Security's on speed dial at this point, rushing over to defuse the situation. Excuse me. Hi. Hi, I have a question for you. Yeah. Okay, I went to get my purse back to make my payment. She's telling me this is expired. That's my purse right there. That one right there, the black one. So I want to know why it's out there. This is your purse. That's my purse right there. How do you know that's your purse? Because I know my purse. Here's the money. I want the purse. That bag was never in pawn, and it does not belong to that lady. If you don't give me the purse, I'm going to climb over the counter and get it myself. Give me my purse. The woman throws out some profane words before a security politely but firmly shows her the door. We never find out if the purse was actually hers or if she was just having a meltdown. One thing's for sure though, the pawn shop visit went from zero to 160 seconds flat. How are you? Would you mind getting over there and get my purse for me? Okay, first of all, that's not your purse. How do you know it's not my purse? Because that purse has been out there. Let me see it, let me look at it. Can I look at it? If you wanna buy it. I just wanna look at it and make sure it's not mine. Okay, first of all, I'm not- First of all, don't talk to me like I'm a idiot. You. Give me my purse or I'm gonna come over that counter and get it myself. What's it gonna be? Okay. Oh my God. Get, get your hands off me. Have a nice day. Let's go. Or walk yourself out, young you. Walk get your hands off walk me, Walk yourself out. You know you just hit me with that pole, right? Go. Bitch, oh, you got to go. I'm gonna kick your go. ass, you wait. Go. F you. Chinese hair fight. Things got hairy at Hardcore Pond. A woman strolled in, looking confident with what she claimed to be a Chinese bohemian hair worth a thousand dollars. Now Les, the owner, has seen it all, but used hair for cash? This was new. He inspected the hair and states the health department wouldn't let them sell used hair. Today. All right, yourself? What you got? Um, I got some merchandise here. I was wondering if you could buy it for me. It's Chinese women hair. It's who? Chinese women. Chinese boy men? Bohemian. Oh, bohemian. bohemian. Uh huh. Bohemian. And I Chinese paid $1,000 for it. I wanted $800, but um, the lowest I will go is $300. It's already colored, and if you want to color it again, you can. Is it genuine hair? Yes, it is. You the have kind we have Beyonce wear. Oh, the same as Beyonce? Yes, yes, it is. Huh. So what do you think you can do for me? It's a very cool piece. And this look, is that's this... a brush for you, too. I could brush it, too, and you can call me. Listen, you know, it's a lot of things you can do with it. It's good hair. It's it's very beautiful. You want to see me put it on for you again? Sure. Yeah, look, you see how I'm done? I'm going to watch it change. Hold the purse name. I'm sorry. The health department won't let us sell used hair. The woman went from confident to confused, then straight up mad. How dare he question her hair expertise? She argued her case, but Les wouldn't budge. Real hair has value. Used fake hair, not so much. The whole scene went from, hey, can I sell you my hair? To a full blown debate about real versus fake. Security probably braced themselves, but luckily, it didn't get too crazy. The woman eventually stormed out, while of course, escorted by security. Um, uh, by the way, once you wash it, it'll be all right, won't it? Not really. Y'all gonna tell me y'all washed all y'all merchandise for y'all put no, it up on No, but there. that's only, okay. that goes over your... And it's DNA in them coats and stuff? There is. Okay, so we, what's we wrong send with it that? Because it's personal no, hygiene. It's, no, it's personal hygiene. People sweat Let me ask you a question. all the time. They when got was all the last this up in here, funky, funky, funky. Come on, we got, it's good for drag queens and, and ladies and all that stuff. Come on, now y'all give me something. You're not a drag queen, are you? No, I'm, I'm all woman, baby. It's all woman. I, it's all one, all one. It's all one. And I just want to listen from my head. Y'all yeah. wipe down everything. We do, but I just can't take it. Okay, then you can right? wipe down the hair. I'm sorry, I wish I could help you. So come That's back. Come, come back on, when you have. Come back. I'm trying to do this right now. 
Well, why don't you escort her to the salon department? I need no, to. Is the salon, is the salon in here? Yeah. Well, he's going to show it to you right there. He's going to show it to you. Come on, come on. Let's go over to the salon then. Watch this way. And then you can twerk it. Twerk it. You can twerk it all the way up. Les fires long-term employee. It's not often we see the store owner, Les Gold, get mad on the show. However, we got to witness Les Gold in full rage when he invited one of his employees to his office. It wasn't all sunshine and rainbows for Rich at Hardcore Pond. In fact, he was fired in the season five finale. Apparently, Les, the owner, was in a grumpy mood and decided to make Rich the scapegoat. Son of a bitch. Where the hell is he? Rich! He's on the floor. People are waiting to pay us for their merchandise. He's not there. We're losing money. I've had Rich's back since the first day he came here, over 20 years ago. I feel betrayed. Didn't I just have an employee meeting to tell everybody that they need to step up on their game? I'm watching you and Bobby J talk to these two girls. You're out there trying to sweet talk them, trying to bull with them. They end up walking out the front door. I'm looking for you in layaway. Where the hell are you? I got to sit in layaway all day long and just wait for something to happen. I needed to take care of something that was out on the floor. I told everybody, the next person that f up is going to be fired. You put me in a position that you were the next to go. Les basically told Rich that he was next on the chopping block, even though Rich had been with the company for a whopping 25 years. Crazy, right? Luckily, things turned around for Rich. After getting fired, he realized his mistakes, apologized to Les, and won back his job. You put me in a position that you were the next to go. What do you mean? Couple little screw-ups, and all of a sudden, now you're contemplating on letting me go? There weren't little screw-ups, Rich. Compared screw to what I've done for you for 25 freaking years? If I don't go forward with the things that I threatened everybody with, nobody will take my word for anything. I have 50 other people, Rich. I told you, I told everybody, managers included. Les, I have been the here next for person you. That Ever. You were on the floor doing nothing. I can't believe after 25 years of being loyal to you, I've been more loyal than your own kids have to you. You know what, Rich? F you. Get out of the store. Really? Really? Rich, I'm out. Tell your dad to f off. You f up your job. You don't do what I ask of you. I don't care if Rich ever comes back. Real earrings, fake diamonds. Two ladies waltz into the shop with an armful of confidence and what they thought were dazzling diamond earrings. They believed they could get $350 for the earrings. Les peered closer and then dropped the truth bomb. Do you know these aren't real? The confident smiles vanish faster than you can say. Pawn shop hustle. They started firing back, claiming Les was blind crazy or just trying to rip them off. How you doing? Good. I'm here to pawn these earrings. Okay. Trying to get $350 for them. Why do you need uh, the money? It's none of your business why I need the money. Why I'm coming in here to handle my business. That's not your business why I'm coming in here to do what I got to do. Do you know that these aren't real? These are real. They are real earrings. They're just not real diamonds. Les, used to these kinds of theatrics, stayed calm. The argument escalated with more insults and denials. Security started hovering nearby, just in case, and eventually, as you would expect, walks them out the door. Ma'am, here's the way I treat customers. Are treated like ladies. No, it don't work like what? It just established me. It's that boy leather coat you right got on. It's a thousand degrees. Who the f right right left? Where's left? Boy ass shot. Raggedy mother Hundred dollar watch meltdown. A woman enters the pawn shop looking for a watch priced around $100. Ashley shows her a watch and she agrees to buy it. The woman then argues that she should be able to use a $100 gift card that she has towards the purchase. Hi, excuse me. Yeah. Hi, I'm looking for a watch. Buy me about $100, I got $100 to spend. All right, do you want a leather band, a metal band? Let me see this right here. This will be good. Okay. This one. This is really pretty. Okay. It's really pretty. It's really Looks pretty. Good on you. That one's 100. 100. I'll take it. Okay. Now we add tax on that. It's gonna be 106. All right. Here. No. What is this? It's a hundred dollar gift card. Hundred dollar gift card. Hundred dollar gift card. These are not our gift cards. What would you call it? If These are preferred customers. The plot thickens 
when Ashley explains to her that the card is actually a VIP card that gives her discounts on future purchases, but it cannot be used towards the current purchase. The woman gets mad and describes both Ashley and her friend on the counter as the ugliest two sisters that she had ever seen. After making a scene, she eventually walks out of the store empty-handed. Right, so these are VIP cards. A gold card allows you discounts on the sales floor. You can't swipe this card and apply $100 on it. Look. That is not our gift card. Turn around and swipe it, okay? There's no swiper on this. So you telling me I'm losing $100? What is she gonna what is say? I don't understand up in here. Okay, well, you, what is I'm she not gonna about swipe? to lose. Hold on, one right? second. Let me explain this. I'm to not her. about to lose. I want to watch. Turn around and swipe it. Wait, where do you see a swipe thing on this? Do you see a swiper? Look, you're the ugliest two sisters I've ever seen in my life. Are you my sister? Hey, yo, sister, what up? Somebody wanna buy our preferred gift card? There's no. not a hundred dollars on it. There's no. Oh, I'm gonna get my money. Hey, Byron, show her where the money's at. I'm gonna get my money. He's gonna show you. Walk up. I need my money. What you so mad for? Go ahead. Man, they took my money, man. 